Hi everyone, we're back again today with a fun lesson where today we're going to be practicing our soccer skills. Have any, has anyone ever been to a soccer game? Did you guys know that there's two different soccer teams here in Los Angeles? Well, the two different soccer teams that are in Los Angeles are the LA Galaxy and LAFC, which also means uh, Los Angeles Football Club. So we're going to be practicing our soccer skills today and I thought it'd be fun to have um, my two daughters here and they have they're going to be representing each team so Kalia is going to be representing LAFC and Kaivani is going to be representing the LA Galaxy so they're both soccer teams here in Los Angeles or football and they're we're, you know just to make it fun we're gonna we're gonna kind of do a theme with the two soccer teams that are here in Los Angeles and what you can do is they were coloring, they colored these themselves. You can print these out online, or you can even, if, if, you're, if, if you're astute, your child is a little bit older, they can draw their own logo. I also found one of these logos online, and um, it was just from a coloring um, website that I found uh, just a blank um, logo that, they, that um, my youngest daughter here, Kaivani, could uh, color. And I'll link um, that website down below where I found the coloring pages. So here's the LAFC logo Kalia had made. And here's Kaivani with her LA Galaxy logo that she has. <laughs> okay, for this first activity, we're going to practice our dribbling skills with the soccer ball. Okay, so, but we are not going to use a soccer ball for this activity. What you'll need for this activity is a balloon and some yarn. Because with the, with the balloon, um, you are going to be tying it to the end of the string, just like this. Okay? And then you'll need um, a certain amount of length because what you're going to be doing is you're going to be tying the string around your child's waist. Okay? Um, just like Kaivani here, I tied it around Kaivani's waist. Okay, so what I want to show you is how it's tied around their waist, just like that, okay? And that's um, what I want you to do with your, um, with your child, is tie the balloon around their waist. And so now, you guys are going to dribble the ball, okay? Dribbling is kicking the ball while you're either walking or in, sp in one place. So go ahead, Kaivani. You're going to go ahead and kick the ball, okay? Try to keep it on the ground though, not in the air. And don't, remember, we don't touch soccer balls with our hands, okay? We don't, in soccer or football, we don't um, use our hands to kick the ball, okay? We only use our feet, so we're gonna practice only using our feet to kick the ball, okay? So keep kicking. All right, this, this activity is really good indoors, too, because one, you're not using a ball, and it's not going to fly all over the place. See how Kaivani and Kui are kicking it nicely, but it's not going very far away from them, so they can keep kicking the ball. Okay? All right, so they can keep kicking it. It's not going to go far away from them. Keep, kick, keep kicking. Okay, practice kicking your um, over and over as, as many times as you can. Okay? So keep kicking. Kick, 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 kick. Show them how you can kick Kaivani. Okay, so, so dribbling during soccer, you can be moving or you can be in one spot. Okay, see so Kalia's doing it in between her feet. Can you do it in between your feet like Kalia? Can you do it back and forth on your foot, back and forth? Let me see, Kaivani's doing a good job too. Great job. Okay, and if, and if um, your, your child is in a wheelchair or they have a little bit more mobility issues, you can always um, use a, a broomstick while they're in the, while they're in their chair or um, any kind of implement stick to um, hit the ball rather than using their feet to, to kick it. Or you can um, hold the string in front of them too. Okay, so the, the balloon is staying stationary in front of them. You can hold the string and the balloon will be right at their feet and they can kick it from their wheelchair or walker or um, even sitting in a chair if it's too hard for them to stand. 
Okay, if your child has any mobility issues or if they are in a wheelchair, there's a few different modifications you can do here using the balloon and the balloon is really good. So if they have some mobility in their, um, in their feet or their legs, they can kick the ball. You can hold it right in front of them just like this. And that allows them to kick the balloon, okay? They can go ahead and kick it. It makes it a little easier and at least they can do, you know, they can get, they can get some, some kicking um, practice. Okay, and if, um, if they have um, no mobility in their feet and they have some mobility in their hands, they can use um, any sort of implement. Okay, they can use a broomstick um, or if you have any sort of um, smaller stick that they can use um, around the house, even a spatula might work as well. You can have them hit the balloon like this during any of these balloon activities. Okay, you're gonna hit it just like this, okay? Preferably on the ground because they're trying to mimic kicking. Okay, so th these are some modifications and adaptations you can do um, for children that are in wheelchairs or have mobility, um, any mobility issues. Okay, for this next activity or game actually, um, we're gonna continue our dribbling skills, but what we're gonna be doing is the one person, only one person will have the balloon tied to their waist while the other person will have to go try to kick the other person's ball. So if you're the parent, you can tie it around your waist and have your child kind of chase after you in, a, in the small, even if it's a small area or outside, um, they can chase after you, but the ball, the balloon will be trailing behind you. And I'll show you an example right here of the game. Okay, so Kalia is going to be the one with the balloon tied around her waist and she will have the balloon trailing behind her and Kayavani is going to try to kick the ball as Kalia um, run, jogs or walks around the activity area. Right, Kaivani? Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Set, go. Try to kick the balloon. She's trying to get my balloon. Okay. Go ahead, try to kick Kalia's balloon. Kick the yellow balloon. And you can do this game outside or inside because the balloon is tied to your waist so it won't go anywhere. Oh, don't get tangled up. Keep kicking, keep kicking. Keep kicking, Kaivani. Kick, kick the yellow balloon. Kick the yellow balloon. Kick it, kick, 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 kick. There you go, kick. Trying to get me. <laughs> kick, kick, keep kicking. You gotta chase the ball and kick it. We're practicing our soccer skills, chasing the ball and kicking the ball. For this next activity, we're going to be doing a game called soccer bowling, okay? But first, what you're going to need is a ball, okay? Any sort of ball will work, um, preferably a smaller size ball. Um, I picked this one up from like the 99 cent store. Um, they usually have, um, you, can, you can find them everywhere, these small kind of balls. Um, otherwise, another option is to roll up a sock as well, okay? And make a, um, a ball out of a, out of a few socks. Um, you're also going to need a two liter, or actually you don't actually need a two liter bottle, um, plastic bottle, but it, those work the best. Um, I have a variety of different smaller bottles too, but just a used um, soda, soda bottle, two liters is, is nice and fun because they're bigger. Okay, so that's what you're gonna need for this lesson. Okay, so we have Kayavani here, okay, and Kayavani is going to kick one of these balls, okay, she's gonna practice her kicking skills, and she is going to try to hit the bottles that we have standing up right over here. Okay, so we have our bottles right here. Okay, and we have Kalia. So one person should be over here to roll the ball back to the person who's kicking. Okay, so the person kicking is gonna wanna kick all these bottles down. Okay, can you kick all these bottles down? Okay, so this is soccer bowling. So Kaivani is gonna go ahead and try to kick the ball at the bottles. Ready, Kaivani? Ready, set, kick. Oh, goal! She got one down. 
She's gonna keep going and kick another one. Ready? Kick. She kicked, she hit another one down. Whoa! Ready? Kick. Oh, she got a couple down. Good job, Kaivani. Okay, and keep going so you kick more down. Remember to aim. You gotta aim at the at your target or goal. Okay. So you gotta aim, you gotta look at your target. And kick. Ooh, nice one. So another um, modification that you can do for this game, if your child is in a wheelchair or they have any mobility issues, is you can set the ball right in front of them, just like this, right here, okay? Set the ball right there so that if they can kick the ball a little bit, it's right there for them. And you can even move them closer to the bowling pins, okay? Or the, the, the bottles, okay? That way they can have some success with this game as well. So go ahead, Clea, we're gonna kick. Okay, good job. All right, and then another option we can do is um, we can you can use um, if they if they don't have any mobility at all in their their legs or feet, they can use um, an implement to go ahead and try to hit the ball and kick, and hit the um, pins down like that. Okay, for this next activity, we will be doing um, more of a um, advanced level activity, um, which could be good for kids that are in secondary school or if your child is at a more advanced level and they need some more challenges. Um, this, for this activity, we're gonna be practicing our passing in soccer, which is kicking to another uh, friend or sharing the ball essentially on your team. So remember, we only pass to our teammate, right? That's in, when we play soccer, we have a team and we wanna pass the ball back and forth. And the other thing is you also want to shoot the ball into the goal for soccer as well. That's the main objective in soccer is to kick the ball into the goal and that's how you score a point. Okay, so for this next activity, we're gonna practice passing the ball and kicking it into a goal. Okay, so at, here at home, we, we're gonna use what we, what we have here at home. We're gonna have pillows for the goals is what we're gonna be using here. Um, and like I said, any ball will do for this, preferably a smaller ball. Um, and if it's softer, that works better too if it's inside. But you can do this activity outside as well if you have a grassy area or if it's on concrete as well. So for this activity, we're gonna be using two of these pillows and a small ball. So for this activity, you're gonna have two people. So either if, you only have, if your child is the only other person in the house, you're gonna do this with your child. If they have siblings, they, the, both of them can do it together or help each other. Okay, so for this activity, Kalia, she has the ball. She is gonna pass to the other teammate and the other teammate is now gonna shoot the ball into the goal. And the goal is right here. We're gonna use two pillows and that will be the goal. Okay, so she just scored a goal. So now we're gonna switch, okay? And you don't have to switch spots, but if you want to, you can. Okay, so now San Lee is gonna pass it to Kalia and Kalia is gonna go ahead and shoot. So another skill that we're gonna practice also when we're passing the ball is trapping the ball, which is stopping it with your foot. So Kalia is gonna show us how she stops it with her foot, and then she's gonna aim it at the goal, and then she's gonna kick. Oh, she didn't hit it that time. So now Kalia can pass it to San Lee. Okay, San Lee's gonna trap. So wait just one second, so trap the ball. Okay, and then we're gonna also look at how San Lee kicks the ball. She's gonna kick the ball with the inside of her foot. Okay, she kicked it with the inside of her foot, so that way you have a little more accuracy with your kick as well. Okay, so you keep practicing that. Um, you can practice it a couple more times, you know, or you can even practice it 10 more times, um, depending on how much time you have. And you can also, with this activity, go ahead girls, keep practicing, kicking it, okay? You can also play this game outside. It's also a good game to play on grass, of course, or on the concrete. Um, and just use whatever, whatever items you have to create a goal, okay? So just keep practicing that and keep practice kicking it into a goal. Keep practice your, your passing as well. See you later. Hope you guys had fun. We'll see you for the next lesson soon. And don't forget to subscribe down below. And hit that like button.